watching Six on Your Side at 10. President Trump's executive orders on immigration and refugees have many immigrants worried in the Treasure Valley. Well, that's because accepting international refugees has been standard practice here in Idaho. Six on Your Side's Ian McGrady spoke with a refugee who just recently landed and has tonight's big story. Don, Michelle, last Friday's executive order restricts people from seven countries from traveling to the U.S. And a four-month ban on refugees from everywhere else in the world starts this Friday. Today, I met one of the last refugees to make it to Boise before the new rules go into effect. Meet Devin Rugema. Through his translator, he says he's still shaking off the jet lag from the flight that took him through Chicago's O'Hare Airport where he saw hundreds of protesters who rallied on behalf of people just like him. We had too much fear. We are so much worried because some people are telling us that we shall not proceed anywhere. But uh, because of the order which had been passed. His home country, Burundi, has been war-torn for more than 50 years. And like many trapped by his country's politics, he too was put into a refugee camp. The, the camp called the Katumba, where some people were killed, and the, we received the rumors that the people who came to attack the camp were the people from the government of Congo. The International Rescue Committee rescued him, and last week he touched down in Boise. I like it very much. Even if I've not moved the whole of Boise, but so far, I love it. The IRC says the Trump administration will use a four-month ban on refugees to make the whole process much harder in the future. But in the meantime, Devan is simply thankful to be in the Treasure Valley. He's been here less than a full work week, but is already looking for a full-time job to support his family here in Boise. And he's even making bigger plans for the future. Like becoming a lawyer, if not that, I want to study theology because I love the Bible very much. DHS says that they will, quote, continue to enforce President Trump's executive order humanely and with professionalism, and that they will comply with judicial orders as they continue also to protect the United States. Ian McGrady, Six on Your Side. Now, the On Your Side 